Changes are underway tonight in jails across the St. Louis region following a killer's daring escape in Pennsylvania that captivated the nation. That killer now back in custody. But as Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes found out, detention centers right here were immediately looking for weaknesses in their own system. Chris. Mandy, I checked with 10 facilities in both Illinois and Missouri, and not one of them had not immediately checked to see if this acrobatic jailbreak could not be pulled off here. Let's begin in a recreation yard at the St. Charles County Department of Corrections with director Dan Keen. This is similar to the area that the Pennsylvania guy escaped Absolutely. from. Absolutely. Very similar to, a, it's called an urban yard. We start out at the worst case scenario. That's where we have to think all the time and we can work our way backwards. How can I get out of here? Can someone pull themselves up on a window or something hanging from the walls? Maybe. That's why officers need to make sure the mesh ceiling is secured. We're in their business. Like an inmate who is buying a ton of toothpaste from commissary. Exploring a little bit deeper, he was actually digging the mortar out from the bricks around inside his cell. And then he was using the toothpaste to fill in the cracks. So they changed the color of the toothpaste sold inside. At the St. Ann Jail, three inmates were able to kick out one of these tempered glass windows in 2021. These are pictures from the scene right after. The criminals knew this would make a lot of noise, so timing was everything, according to St. Anne Police Lieutenant Monica Rellis. There was a lot of thunder that night. They were using that to their advantage to kick the windows when there was a lot of noise. Those windows now covered with brick on the inside, and all the inmates were captured the same day. Thanks to the U.S. Marshals for being able to come in at such short notice. Lieutenant Rella says they've learned how to combat an inmate's best weapon, time. They have 24 hours in a day to observe how many officers are in a building, what the officers are doing, what time they're coming in to check, so we have to be better. That means proper staffing and even having police officers walk through the jail. Including our command staff. Our command staff will go back there, introduce themselves, speak to the federal inmates, and make their presence known. Rellis and Keen at two different jails both agree people are equally crucial as the security tools and walls. You have to have awesome staff, you know, staffing that buy into the organization. This is a tough job. Corrections is a tough job. And being able to let them know that we appreciate them. Specific to the crab walk the Pennsylvania inmate did, there's no jail that does not have areas like that you can climb. The key is what's up there. Jailers tell me that's what has to be addressed, securing areas above rather than changing the spacing of any walls. Now, this toothpaste trick is, is really interesting. Makes you wonder how often this happens. Just last year in St. Louis at the Justice Center, an inmate was caught digging out part of the wall and mm -hmm. replacing it with toothpaste and toilet paper. And they risk more time if they get caught doing something yeah, like this. And they're always caught right, eventually. Right. And then they're going to potentially get another criminal charge mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. more time. All right, Chris, thank you.